There'll be nobody. You don't have a candle to hold to a heart. I'll be on myself compared to the other people. And you, you, it won't even be close. Write what you want, say what you want, tweet what they want. Um, it won't be close. That was Michigan State men's basketball coach Tom Izzo after his Spartans fell in the NCAA tournament to North Carolina 85-69 to last night. News 10's Seth Wells and Joey Ellis have more from outside the Spectrum Center for us. Guys, good morning. And Kellen, good morning from Charlotte, North Carolina. The Michigan State men's basketball season coming to a close yesterday in a 85 to 69 loss to North Carolina in the round of 32. And Joey head coach Tom Izzo after the game had a lot to say in his post game press conference. He sure did. Always candid as he after those post game press conferences and that media scrum. But yesterday felt like a little bit more honesty, a little bit more, you know, self reflection and accountability that he put on the program and on the team. And he knows a second round exit is certainly not the norm there in East Lansing and for that Michigan State program. But all that said, it sounds like he's still a little bit more motivated now from the loss moving forward with his program. You know, saving 74, 73, whatever he is. Um, you know what, you're old as you feel. If somebody wants me out, that's fine. I'll go somewhere else. I'm a coach. So I haven't finished. Uh, I haven't finished what I want to accomplish. I'm getting back to a deeper run in this tournament, and I'm going to die trying. And obviously the senior class meant so much to this program, been through so much with Tom Izzo, and he wishes he could have them back for another year. Maybe some could still be back. However, a lot of them pretty somber in the locker room, deservedly so afterwards. Yeah, and you know, you expect a somber locker room after a season-ending loss, but especially for the seniors who have put on the Michigan State jersey for the last time. We talk about a guy like Malik Hall who's been right. through everything at Michigan yeah. State. We talked with him and some of the other outgoing seniors. You know, I'm blessed. Um, I wake up and thank God every morning for it. Um, it's an opportunity that not a lot of people get. There's probably millions of kids out there that wish they could be in my shoes and be in this situation. Um, so I'm just grateful that Spartan Nation, you know, gave me a chance and showed me as much love as they did while I was here. What it sucks to lose, but um, you know, the last five years has been everything that I've ever dreamed of, and you know, I'm so appreciative of the fans, you know, all the guys on the team, managers, secretaries, you can go down the list of who I'm thankful for and, you know, letting me live out my childhood dream. Man, it's been my life, man. That's why I can't take it off right now because I can't put it on again. So just trying to think of all the moments, being able to reflect on it and just kind of being proud of what we accomplished. And Kellen, that wraps up a very busy week in the Carolinas for us, covering the Michigan State women's and men's basketball teams and their run in the NCAA tournament, both of them coming to an end before they were able to get to the Sweet 16. For now, in Charlotte, I'm Seth Wells. That's Joey Ellis. Back to you. All right, guys, thank you. We have Tom Izzo's full press conference available to watch on our website, WILX.com. There's also more reaction from the Spartans in the locker room.